Well, hi again. Welcome back to my channel. I want to talk to you today about some wonderful things. We had a great selling weekend, best selling weekend of our lives. And um, let's just get started. So uh, the first thing that sold was a uh, Corette purse. And I'm going to show you. I will um, insert a little guy right here so you can see how much it sold for. And I also have a little video about it. Our next item was a uh, Pioneer Woman. Why is my light on? Who did that? Okay. The next item uh, was uh, Mary Mushrooms. And I'll show you that as well here. And that one sold for 35 Oh, and the... Okay, let's turn it over. So, the Pioneer Woman, that sold for 21 That was new in the box still. And um, the next item that sold was Mary Mushrooms. And that sold for 35 And I want you to know, too, that uh, I don't ever include, like, how much they paid for shipping because I always charge the buyer to pay for shipping. Just because I don't want to include that, I want the value of the item to be the value of the item. I don't want the shipping to convolute it. Um, which is funny because I'm like that person that loves free shipping. But, anywho. Um, <clears throat> and the purse, that was two fifty five. dollars But, the most amazing item, I have to say, is that little guy right there. This is a uh, San Diego State Aztecs hat. And um, I got this guy. I was at a yard sale last year. And uh, this guy, he was just getting rid of stuff. And he was like, he's like, take it. It's all free. And I was like, you really don't want any of it? And he said, no. He's like, you don't take it. I'm throwing it away. I said, okay, I'll take it. I mean, maybe somebody would want this guy. So um, I looked him up. <clears throat> and I thought, and what I saw, I really couldn't believe it first. I was like, wow, huh, hundreds? No, really? But the more I looked, the better it got. So this is from 1984. That's a little label. It actually has a date right there. So we started the auction. Uh, it was pretty low. It was like at $14. And um, within about five minutes, it has gone up to, it went up to $255. And there's still six days left on the auction. Um, I'll show you the current. All right. Um, also had some shoes. Walter Genuine, is that his name? I got them because I thought they were so cute. And I thought, ooh, if they fit me, I'll just wear them around because they're super cute. But they're golf shoes. And um, I had a listed for like 58 But I got an offer today <clears throat> for 40 I countered for 45 because I love the little back and forth of bartering. It's like my favorite. So, 45 golf shoes there headed out in the mail. Hey. All right. So, last time I talked to you. I had mentioned this Casio. It is a Casio VL Tone. It's a little uh, recorder and it plays music and um, it also calculates it adds and such. So I want to play it for you because I thought it wasn't working and then Mitch was like, no, it just had a little goop on the one of the little prongs. So this guy Wait, first you have to hear my, my my music. Then I'll tell you how much it's worth. Let's see what he says here. Where is my favorite one? That's not it though. That's like Ross. Remember Ross on Friends? Anyway, isn't that exciting? 
so these little guys they are from the 80s and they sell for um what I found was between like 80 and $40 working in good condition. But even if they don't work, they sell for around $15 just for their parts. Right? So at first I was like, oh man, it's not working. Oh well, I'll still get like $15. And then Mitch fixed it and I was like, yay! Plus we get to play with it for another minute. All right, so um, let's see, we talked about the purse. And all those other exciting things and the hat so that's about it today folks um, I'll get back to you about that auction see what it ends up being and uh, until then have fun hope you rescue yourself some relics bye Well, for those of you that waited to the end to see the purse, I also have a little snippet of our life within of how we work through our issues. So um, it's pretty funny. The husband doesn't even know he's being recorded. So I thought you guys would get a kick out of this. One, two, buckle your shoe. Hey. What's this? Hey. What's this? He's ready to go. It's the matchbook. There's no extra tape over the label. I thought I was instructed. My wife instructed me to make sure you use tape the label over. That way if it gets wet. <laughs> Wait, can I explain myself? Yeah. So it, this is different different printing uh, apparatus now. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't the other work. one, when you touched it, it would come off. You mean I just wasted two reels of tape for that? Oh. Oh, the weight, we are overweight, Houston. All right. I mean, sometimes I still put it over their name, you know, so they don't. Yeah, let me get you a little extra. Because there's times where I've opened packages. I've come and the tape, I mean, if this is going all the way to Santa Barbara, California, do we know that person? Oh. <laughs> do we know that person? Uh-oh, is that Mr. Let me push it on the door. Okay, that's good, yeah. You're good. Thank you. Back it up, Chuck. Right, well, come back in. I'm waiting. What? I'm waiting. Oh, okay. We got to do video. Oh, okay. Video one. I already have it going. Oh. Where? Right there. All together? <laughs> yes. Oh, what are we doing? Celebrating. Oh. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> Celebrating a sale. A big sale. This is a core quartet. Corette. Corette. Alligator purse. Corette. You bet. Corette. Big money. So a bolo. Don't you know? True alligator. Do you think it'd be like swampy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I don't think so. Did a lot of research to make sure it was real. And it's it's Way to go. it's uh roughed up and stuff. Maybe somebody got it for their sweetheart for Valentine's Day. Oh. Look at the details. Um, look at the look at the details in that in that gorgeous. Definitely, definitely vintage.